I am back for episode three of Between Us. Ah, <laughs> I don't think I've ever had this with a week by week show where I felt this legitimately excited before every episode. I just loading it up. I've got like the bubbling excitement <laughs> in my chest. I was so happy to be watching this. So we're going to go into it. Uh, looks like we're going to get more info on teams stuff. Everything he's got going on. There has to be someone else who's sitting there. Like I am feeling like that kind of... It's like you've come home after like a holiday or something, you know? Like you feel really comforted seeing these people again. And for me, it's only been like three months and I still get that feeling. So there's got to be people out there who waited for like three years that just feel like that lovely, homely feeling and so comforted. The music is so perfect for this series too. อ๋อเนี่ยกูเป็นผู้ฟังที่ดีได้นะเห็นบอกจะเข้านะมันแค่โดดไปเพลย์ทีมเฉยๆอ่ะเพลย์ทีมเป็นอะไรวะมีอย
็ฟังไปแล้วเหรอวะมึงอย่าพูดถึงไอ้ทีมอย่างนั้นอีกมันเป็นรุ่นน้องในชุมลม Extra defensive about team. ที่ทำให้มึงอารมณ์เสียได้ขนาดนี้มึงพูดอะไรมึงวะดีนเลยแบบนี้เนี่ยไม่ใช่เพราะทีมโดดชมลมหรอกดีดีนถ้าไม่ใช่ที่ดีนพูดมือแค่ปฏิเสธปฏิเสธดีวะเลิกเสือกเรื่องกูได้แล้วพวกมึงอะ Friends already know. You're very grumpy when your team is avoiding you. Hey team, I'm f a k i n g it. Let's go. I'm intrigued. <laughs> ถ้าเกิดว่างานเนี้ยปินไม่สะดวกอ่ะเดี๋ยวเราทําให้งานอื่นค่อยว่ากันเอางั้นหนอ get distracted by the friends eavesdropping cute he acts so differently in this than he does in even son that I forget he's the same actor hello Prince happy time แต่อินบอกไว้ล่วงหน้าแล้วนี่ครับว่าวันนี้ต้องเข้าเรียนอะเรียนมันเมื่อไหร่ก็ได้ไหมแต่โอกาสมันไม่ได้มาง่ายพี่บอกแล้วใช่ไหมถ้าตัดสินใจเข้าโอกาสแล้วอะเรื่องงานสำคัญสุดก็ได้ครับงั้นเดี๋ยวปินลงไปรอหน้าตึกคณะ He don't even seem that happy about it He doesn't wanna skip classes เราต้องไปทำงานอีกแล้วดิว่าแต่ชื่ออะไรนะเราชื่อป๊อปเปอร์บีอ่ะเรียกบีเฉยก็ได้เราชื่อปินนะ Oh no not another prince no don't do this to me เรื่องคู่อ่ะเปลี่ยนใจไม่ได้แล้วนะงั้นเราไปก่อนนะขอบคุณมากนะบอบบีไปนะ cute feels like it's gonna be a bit problematic seeing as he never has time to even go to classes and stuff let alone talk to other people <laughs> Oh, you're pining already? My goodness. สรุปมาคณะกูทำไมวันนี้ค้ากูยกอ่ะกูเลยมาหาที่นั่งเล่นเฉยใช่ไหม You liar. ยินนิ่มเตรียมคำตอบไว้เลยนะเรื่องโดดชมรมอ่ะไม่งั้นนะไม่งั้นเลยไม่งั้น Grumpy Win. มึงโดนพี่วินในมือแน่ไรวะไอ้บีก็โดดชมรมกูพวกมึงจะมาขู่คนเดียวไม่ได้นะเว้ย I think he's gonna be more upset that you're not there ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ดีทำไมกูต้องกลัวเลยวะ I tell you to say that to his face พ่อก็ไม่ใช่แม่ก็ไม่ใช่ทำไมกูต้องกลัววะ Oh, that's so cute. A little bit, yeah. Liar. You telling a lot of lies. Oh, hey, พ่อมึงพร้อมแล้วประจำที่ได้เลยวันนี้จะเก็บสีสีอีกรอบ Sneaks away. Okay, you had your one night stand, he avoided you. You had your second night stand, he's avoiding you again. This is not a great cycle to be in. Mm. 
He is trying to leave as quickly as possible. Yep. <laughs> he doesn't want to get jumped by a wind and get yelled at again. I'm in love with team with damp hair, no? I love that hair on him. <laughs> now you pick up on that? I said that last episode, no? <laughs> this is new. Mm. So gentle. Well, that was kind of sweet, no? That's what he thought about. Helpful. Helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Not helpful at all. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> all you did was make him insecure. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Just because they like him doesn't mean he likes them. It's not like he slept with all those girls. I get it though, it's, it would make you very insecure. Team very drunk. I don't know. Did you follow them? <laughs> oh God! Oh team! <laughs> you dropped team. <laughs> Win does not look impressed. The way he said that was so soft. <laughs> so cute. Simping for win at the moment, not gonna lie. Cute, cute, 
cute. We like protective wind. So, first episode, not everyone gets to ride his bike, right? Wouldn't take tall with him. Now gonna take team home. That's foam. <laughs> You're fighting for your life right now, huh? <laughs> Team is fighting his demons. That started real fast to know. He said I'm sorry. I'm starting to get the feeling my theory might be right about what happened to him. I think he was drowning and his sibling tried to save him and the sibling ended up dying instead. Wait, I'll go solid. We're back with the gamers, that's why. ไม่ได้มาไม่ได้รีสอร์ทที่ตักจังหวะเนี่ยมันเคยคิดกันนอนเลยเออเป็นเจ้าของรีสอร์ทเลยเหรอนี่ก็รวยดิเสร็จเร
Wynn has a lot of green flags, no? เมื่อคืนนอนไม่หลับอยู่แล้วเหรอไฟยังแข็งขัดเลือกแล้วนะหัวน่ะมันมันคอเลยก็เป็นห่วงไหมล่ะฮึครับพ่อเอาที่สบ
้าอะไรแล้วอิทซูดิฟิคุลต์ทูวอชบินอิทซ์ไลค์วันอฟมายฟาเวอร์ทรูปส์อิทซูดิฟิคุลต์ทูดีสคริบฮาวซัมทิงคันบีมายฟาเวอร์ทรูปส์วันอิทซ์ดิสดิฟิคุลต์ทูวอชGuys, I gotta work on your sleeping dynamics. You were hugging him to begin with. What are you talking about? Cute. Oh my god, I'm in love with this man. <laughs> I cannot be the only one that is just head over heels in love with this man. I'm just gonna throw it out there. The music choices so far in this show have been phenomenal. They're really sweet music choices, no? <laughs> my god. Him still in the shower, or did he leave while you were sleeping? <laughs> that answers that question. <laughs> he did sleep through, right? He was asleep when the alarm went off. So sleeping with Win really does help him. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Why did that make me emotional? It made me emotional. You <laughs> might. 
style. <laughs> Cute. Very cute. Oh my goodness. Is that the end? Tell me that's not the end. That's the end. Oh, I want more. <laughs> I want more, please. Damn, he just starts turning up. <laughs> oh god. We got some sadness. Okay, so let's talk about it. <laughs> Just try to remember everything that I wanted to talk about. I am in love with this series. <laughs> I'm in love with it. I don't think I've ever felt this way about a series before. Not even Not Me. I uh, the I think it helps that I've seen until we meet again so I'm instantly attached to a lot of the characters already and I'm instantly invested in the story whereas any brand new show that I've not seen before like not me I still had to get through the first few episodes to catch my interest and really get an idea of what's going on and what characters I liked so the fact that this is a spin-off of a show that I already adored I think it just kind of jumps the queue in terms of how quickly I love it. And the fact that it is kind of showing the same characters, the same timeline, stuff like that. I, I'm i just in love with it. I really am. We had um a lot of grumpy team and a little bit of grumpy win, actually. When they're not getting on, they're, they're very grumpy towards other people, no? <laughs> um team avoiding win again just like after the first time they slept together the second time they've they've done that he's started avoiding him again quite possibly the cutest moment in the show was when it randomly cut to team getting like <laughs> when he turns up to the club and he's getting scolded by win and he's just standing there hanging his head in shame it was very sweet but yeah, we did get a lot of team kind of pushing back, right? And saying, I'm not afraid of him. I, I don't need to answer to him. He doesn't need to worry about me. Um, and, and being a little bit kind of prickly. And that kind of checks out with Until We Meet Again and the Between Us shorts. Um, he did kind of have a bit of a prickly attitude where he you push people away even when you really like them kind of thing. Especially because... I think I talked about it in the Between Us shorts. Um, I, it seems to be like when Team gets shy, his defense mechanism is to <laughs> be grouchy and push people away. Um, it's how he deals with being embarrassed and shy. So anytime Wynn puts him on the spot, he gets all flustered and pushes him away, I guess. I don't know. Wynn doesn't actually seem that upset that team is skipping classes and the club and avoiding him and stuff obviously he's not happy about it because he wants to see team but he's not scolding him or anything like that um it seems more that he's worried right even with the the practice when he was timed and his times have dropped because he's so like tired and skipping practice and stuff Wynn wasn't actually like upset about it he was just worried about team and we saw a lot of that this episode you could see it in his face anytime he was looking at team even when they were in the meeting talking about the dunk tank thing that they're gonna do anytime he looked at team he was just worried and concerned he can tell that he's tired he can tell that he's thinking about things all the time he can tell something's going on and that it's affecting everything around him I would say that my theory so far is looking more and more likely after seeing last episode when they were getting to know each other and Wynne asked about team siblings and team hesitated. I um, put up on Twitter something that I was like, I'm going to come back to this to see if I'm right about it. But I think the team dreams that he's drowning and he can't breathe. And I think his trauma was that he was drowning and his brother tried to save him, and his brother died instead. Um, and it definitely seems to be that way, though. No? 
And we even got more information than that in the flashback. The fact that the brother, I think his name was Ton, um, he was quite against going in the water and it was Team that pushed for it. And he, you know, he was like, the, there's nobody here, the pool's closed, we shouldn't do it. We should warm up first. And Team was like, no. So it was Team's idea to go swimming when there was no one else around. And it was his idea to go in, up, like, without warming up. So although that doesn't necessarily make it his fault what happened, I can definitely see him blaming himself for his... If if his brother is dead, <laughs> I'm going on the assumption that he is, I can definitely see a lot of guilt there, right? Self-guilt um, and, and kind of being to blame, feeling like he's to blame for what happened. We also had Team getting a little bit insecure because... Uh, people were saying that loads of girls are interested in win. So we've got a little bit of insecurity, maybe a bit of jealousy there. They're both at, at that this stage, right? They're both trying to work out what their feelings are. You've got team who all of this is new to him. Um, and he's very confused and doesn't know what he should be feeling, what he should be doing. They have these nights together, which he obviously really likes and really wants. He, it happened once and it happened again so it, it was obviously something he wanted but then the aftermath of that is that he avoids win and he doesn't know how to act or behave or what he should be doing at the same time when he does spend time with him even during the day um and they have these kind of cute moments he does get really happy afterwards and he he's definitely <laughs> getting some feelings no he's catching some feels I thought it was incredibly sweet that Wynn caught him this time. <laughs> he was being all happy and and kind of touching his lips and stuff and he was very happy about it and then Wynn walked out and saw it. So it's very sweet to see. So he's working out his feelings. Wynn is definitely catching feelings. He's very worried about Team. He doesn't like it when Team's not around uh, and he doesn't know where Team is. He's checking up on him and finding out about his classes and stuff like that. But at the same time, we know that he's got his own stuff going on where he doesn't go for serious things because he doesn't believe that anyone could truly want him and nothing will stay with him forever and stuff. Nothing's really his. So we've got all of that to go through too. Really, they're both looking for someone who won't leave them. Um, They're, they're both looking for the same thing. And I'm sure they'll figure that out <laughs> at some point. We had our fair share of cute moments. The Okay, I was already getting a bit emotional and stressed because, I mean, as you know from when I was watching Until We Meet Again, when people exhibit signs of anxiety, it makes me anxious. I am 90% sure that when I edit this episode, <laughs> I'm going to probably be jittering or rocking or something when Team is having his bad dreams because I... I do, it's people with anxiety disorder know that when you see someone anxious it triggers your own anxiety right it, you kind of mimic the the feeling because anxiety is quite often it's like a smoke detector that goes off when you make toast right you you get worried about things you shouldn't get worried about and stuff like that so when you see someone else anxious it sets off the smoke detector because it makes you think there's something to be anxious about so I was already quite feeling a little bit not great with Team's night terror stuff. It's very difficult to watch anyway, just from a kind of perspective of liking Team and not wanting to see him go through that. But when like that sort of stuff is kind of triggering me as well, it's it's it can be very difficult. So I think that's why I got so emotional at the end. I don't know why I got so emotional. I really teared up a little bit. The fact that Team like sincerely thanked Wynne for, for helping him and for basically everything. And then just out of nowhere, he initiates the softest, the smallest kiss. It was so sweet. And the fact that he initiated it really kind of made me emotional for some reason. I don't know. It was ever so sweet. And then their reactions afterwards, it was very sweet. No, it was lovely. It doesn't bode well for me that I'm already emotional in episode three. 
So yeah, we had a lot of emotions this episode for sure. Every time it was like the camera was on either of their faces, it was conveying a lot of emotions, right? Wynn's worry about team, him trying to work out his feelings when like Dean and Tull are telling him, you know, you treat this kid differently than all the others and stuff like that. You can see him like trying to work through that and teams trying to work everything out too there's a lot of stuff going on right for them to to kind of navigate it's a very new situation i think and it looks like the preview shows that that's going to continue win is still struggling to get serious about it the friends are kind of warning him like you know team is going to fall if you are not serious about this you need to like be very careful what happens here because team is going to fall for you so they are even aware that he has trouble getting serious and kind of um it's like what he said in the first episode right that he doesn't have anything that important to him that he would be that bothered if he lost it so they're aware that that's his mentality as well and they're trying to warn him to be careful about what he does with team what else was in the preview we had team just showing up unannounced asking to stay again so he's obviously aware that sleeping at win's place helps him which is very sweet as well um it's nice that he's kind of got that my favorite trope <laughs> my favorite trope it's so difficult for me to watch so i don't know why it's my favorite but i love it no he was so distressed when he was dreaming and then Wynne just comforts him and tells him it's okay and shushes him and he just calms down and then they just cuddle and it, it's okay. I love that trope so much and I don't know why. It <laughs> it does something in my brain and in my heart. I love it. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I love it. Um, but it's very difficult to watch. It makes me very emotional. The idea that someone can be that comforting to, to be around. So team shows up needing like to sleep over again. I'm guessing that's going to be just before the qualifying, maybe. Um, and then Wynn tells him he can just turn up whenever he likes, <laughs> which is quite nice. We have seen in the trailer at one point that team is just sitting outside of Wynn's door. And, and Wynn apologizes uh for not being there so i'm wondering if the progression is that next episode win says you can turn up whenever you like and then at some point in the future team does turn up but win's not there and then that's when win gives team the key so that team can come in anytime i'm wondering if that's what the progression of that's going to be other than that uh the supporting characters well, they did, they weren't in it too much, were they? Dean and Palm took a back seat. Manau and Prook took a back seat. Although they all showed up at kind of odd little moments. We had one scene for Wan and Tull. Um, I'm rooting for them. There's just something for me about the idea. I, I guess as a fellow gamer, I really understand the emotional connection that you can build up with people that you haven't met yet. Um, but the idea that like they're anonymous but they feel this kind of bond with each other and they're comforting each other and trying to get to know each other I love it I'm low-key invested in them already <laughs> side couple syndrome <laughs> that's just how it is uh and then we had a new character we had Prince I just <laughs> finished watching something that had a character called Prince that I adored <laughs> and now there's another Prince it doesn't look like he's going to be in it too much because he's always fucking busy no it looks like he's under a lot of pressure for his acting job i thought they just meant he would be like in the drama club or something but he's like legit doing acting jobs so he's not around but it looks like b and him are gonna start <laughs> getting to know each other which is weird because i was sitting here trying to figure out if there was going to be a pairing between a b and c and what the pairing would be people on twitter were talking about there being a threesome i was like really <laughs> is that what's gonna happen who knows but it looks like maybe this prince person is gonna I'm gonna catch b's interest he was already pining though hmm it was great i'm in love with it i'm absolutely head over heels in love with it every week i get so excited for the next episode and a little bit nervous that this week is going to be the week where i kind of fall out of love with it and i'm not as bothered about it every week i love it more and more and more 
it's so good we got to see a huge amount of their emotional connection building this episode and Wynne just takes such good care of him and is so worried about him I'm, I, I simp for Wynne I really do so I, I love both of them I, I can't express how much I love both of them so that is it for this week I will be picking up episode 4 next Sunday for potentially some more rough stuff no it didn't look like team was too happy at the end of that preview we'll have to see have to see what conflicts come up for it I imagine it's only going to get more and more stressful <laughs> but there's definitely some sweet looking moments in there too so I'm excited as well so I'll be picking that up as soon as I can but that is it for episode three bye <laughs>